Sometimes I want to uh, to flip a string around and make it be backwards um, for some reason. So let me write a little function that does that. Actually, let me get some input from the user. Enter text here. And, uh, and then we'll grab it from them. I'm going to use get line so that I grab um, the entirety of what they're typing, regardless of if that's just one word or a phrase. Um, and let's call this flip. And it's going to take in my original string and it's going to return a string that is backwards. Um, so let's have this go ahead and see out. <coughs> Excuse me, the result, even though I haven't written it yet. So it's going to print out that backwards. So let's say s backwards backwards is, and then it will print out the result of that. Okay. So the trick to um, flipping a string around and not just printing it backwards, but actually generating a backwards string is to use concatenation um, and then to iterate over the string in reverse order. So I need something to build on. So let's call it back. Um, remember a string when I create it has this in it, so it's nothing. So I can add on to that very easily. And then at the end of this, I'll be returning that um, backwards version. So what do I do to make it be backwards in the meantime? Well, I want to visit the letters of the original string in backwards order. So I need to start at the end. So the end of any string is not the length, because the length is one more than what you want, right? If my string is word, my numbering on this is 0, 1, 2, 3 for the index values, and the total length of this thing is 4. If I started at 4, I'd be over here, which is out of bounds, which will cause my code to crash. So I need to, anytime I go backwards, start the length minus 1 so I don't crash everything. And I want to go down to and include the final letter, which is the leftmost letter, who has an index of 0. And instead of counting up, I want to count down by 1s. Okay? Um, as I visit my original letters backwards, all I have to do to build my backwards string is add them onto this guy. And then at the end, inside this thing will be the original string reversed. Let's see if I'm right. Oh. Uh, I didn't call it S, I called it input. There we go. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There it is in reverse order. So that is how you flip a string.